China to launch weather control machines. China wants to manipulate the weather. The Chinese Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation is planning to send rain-inducing machines across the Tibetan Plateau to increase rainfall in the region. The South China Morning Post reports tens of thousands of machines will be installed on the Tibetan mountains and is expected to increase rainfall by up to 10 billion cubic meters a year over an area of 1.6 million square kilometers. The machines will produce fine silver iodide particles, which would then be lifted into the air with the winds. These particles will then be circulated into the atmosphere. Each rain machine is expected to create a 4.8 kilometer long strip of clouds. Lei Fanpei, the president of the corporation, told the South China Morning Post that modifying Tibetan's weather is a critical innovation to solve China's water shortage problem. The mountains of Tibet provide a huge source of water in China as its glaciers and underground reservoirs supply water to the Yangtze, Mekong and Yellow River. However, this isn't the first time China made plans to modify the weather. The country has manipulated the weather during the 2008 Beijing Olympics in order to prevent it from raining during the event. According to a report from China Daily, China has even artificially induced snow a couple years ago in Beijing. China plans to monitor the system through weather satellites and supplement silver iodide particles from planes and drones in order to maximize its effect. Here's more on China. In China, someone's always watching. Facial recognition is popping up everywhere in China as the government looks to technology to keep constant track of its people and what they're up to. Chinese apartments equipped with keyless entry use cameras to scan and verify residents' faces. But although convenient, the technology is also being used by authorities to monitor individuals and identify alleged bad guys and persons of interest. The project, called Sharp Eyes, intends to connect public security cameras with those in private compounds and buildings to form a nationwide surveillance and data sharing network. Sharp Eyes' aim is to compile information on citizens, including criminal and medical records, travel and purchase history, and social media use, and link it to a face and identity card. Its name derives from a communist slogan and is linked to Chairman Mao's attempts to get citizens to spy on each other. Supposedly, the system can track suspicious behavior to help eliminate crime, which in China can be anything from homicide to speaking out against the government. Ultimately, the goal is for total surveillance, and in a country where being an ethnic minority or an activist can get you flagged, that prospect is frightening. China is watching. The world's most populous country is building its surveillance network and could soon be keeping a close eye on each and every one of their 1.3 billion citizens. Roughly 176 million AI-equipped surveillance cameras are currently installed all over China, with the number set to increase to 626 million by 2020. Citizens' ID profiles, social media photos, and other personal details are being filed in a database and connected to security cameras nationwide. The advanced surveillance system uses facial recognition technology to instantly identify the name, gender, and age of any pedestrian and the type and color of any vehicle. The same technology is being used by commercial and private institutions for financial dealings, keyless entry, and even to thwart toilet paper theft. The system can also scan faces and compare them with the police database, allowing authorities to locate and apprehend criminals at large. The network claims to boost safety and security and reduce crime, but has ironically been dubbed Skynet. Terminator, anyone? That Skynet ended up trying to exterminate humanity, but the Chinese version will probably be worse. Talk about a brain drain. The People's Republic of China is sponsoring research into technology that scans workers' brains for the emotional state. According to the South China Morning Post, Chinese factory, military, and train workers are all wearing helmets that can track their emotions. Train drivers wearing the tech get a zap if they doze off, as could pilots if the technology ever comes to planes. And, of course, it's all being watched by an AI. According to the MIT Technology Review, the system probably doesn't work despite claims it boosted a factory's profits by over 300 million US dollars. The South China Morning Post reports researchers are also developing a new version with cameras and body-wide sensors for use in hospitals. This would be able to monitor facial expressions, body temperature, and movements. And all that, to most sapiens, sounds like the beginnings of the Thought Police, with a live feed to your brain. China goes to the dark side. 
China has deployed a relay satellite that's meant to bridge communication between Earth and a planned exploration on the far side of the moon. Xinhua News Agency reports Chui Chao, or Magpie Bridge, is named after a Chinese folklore in which magpies form a bridge to enable two star-crossed lovers to meet for one day. The Trichau satellite features a dish antenna and two solar arrays and was launched atop a Long March 4C rocket from southwest China on Sunday morning. Trichau is expected to enter a halo orbit around the second Lagrangian point and would be the world's first communication satellite operating in that orbit. Its main purpose is to establish a communication link between Chinese mission control and the yet-to-be-launched Chang'e 4 mission that will explore the moon's dark side. The Chang'e lunar rover and lander is currently scheduled for December 2018 launch. Trichao is also equipped with the Netherlands-China Low Frequency Explorer, a radio scanner that will search for ancient radio signals dating back to the early universe. The reason the satellite is able to do this is because it would be in the shadow of the moon, completely unaffected by Earth's interference. Uh-oh. The People's Republic of China has big plans for space. China is working on a newly planned station dated for a 2019 launch. Beijing expects it to be operational by 2022. The space station will be able to host up to three astronauts over 180-day periods. This is around the same time span that astronauts will spend on the International Space Station. China says their planned space station will orbit Earth at altitudes of between 340 kilometers and 450 kilometers. The ISS orbits at around 400 kilometers. China's space station may outlast the ISS, as that craft's future is unclear after 2025. Reportedly, the U.S. government is considering pulling its funding or privatizing it. According to Yahoo News, the U.S. has banned China from using the ISS since 2011. There's no escaping in China. Chinese authorities have begun donning high-tech glasses to spot suspects, the latest use of facial recognition technology in the increasingly all-seeing state. Police in Zhengzhou can now verify people's identities within minutes using sunglasses with a camera attachment, which is connected to a database via a portable device. Officers who spot a suspicious person from as far as 5 meters away need only take a photo showing at least 70% of the face. The photo is run through the system, allowing officers to access information like names, ethnicity, gender, and address. It also details the hotel a person is staying at, recent internet history, and whether he is wanted for any crime. Seven suspects involved in a kidnapping and hit-and-run incidents have been arrested so far, with 26 others apprehended for using fake IDs. The use of facial scanners and other similar technology are widespread in China, where there are fewer privacy concerns. The government is in the process of amping up surveillance, starting with a database containing relevant information on its 1.3 billion citizens.